Witajcie w rozważaniach na dzień dobry. Elijah Brown, szef Światowego Związku Baptystów jest u nas w Polsce. Elijah, feel welcome in Poland. It's your first full day you are starting to today. Tell me how you feel here. Well, it's a joy to be here in Poland. I'm so impressed already with the work that Baptists in Poland are doing to care for the refugees, to welcome them here, and to provide a gospel witness, providing for their humanitarian, their physical, and their spiritual needs. Mm -hmm. And not just about what they're doing with the Ukrainians, but about the way they have crafted this beautiful seminary and the mm -hmm. campus that we're standing mm -hmm. here, the way that they're partnering with churches, pastoring pastors, and just doing a tremendous job mm -hmm. uh, for the glory of the Lord. Thank you. Elijah, could you tell me about Baptist response so far from your perspective worldwide, not just, I mean, we have our local perspective here, but from your worldwide perspective, how you would describe it? In every country on the border of Ukraine, Baptists have been among the first to respond. You know here in Poland what an incredible job you've been doing at the border and how border officials have even been sending individuals to the Baptist churches knowing that you would take care of them. God bless mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and thank you. Mm -hmm. In Romania, the mm -hmm. very first uh, volunteer on the border to welcome refugees mm -hmm. on the very first day of the war was a Baptist. Mm -hmm. In Moldova, in the first 10 days of the war, 70% of all the refugees who came into the country went first through a Baptist church. Mm -hmm. In Ukraine, they're doing a tremendous job. More than 600 churches have served as basic humanitarian mm -hmm. centers. So mm -hmm. all around this region, Baptists are providing 51,000 beds per mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. Praise God for the fast response. Mm -hmm. of Baptists. And what about those churches and Baptists around the world? Uh, I'm pretty sure most of those churches, they pray, uh, some are giving, but if you could relate somehow, again, I know you've got this worldwide perspective, what happens in different continents? There have been dedicated prayer mm -hmm. conferences mm -hmm. uh, for peace mm -hmm. and for uh, those who are serving on the front mm -hmm. lines on mm -hmm. every continent mm -hmm. of the world. Just yesterday, mm -hmm. I received a note from a pastor in Zimbabwe mm -hmm. who said that their church was actively praying mm -hmm. for peace. Mm -hmm. I think about a seven-year-old boy in central Texas named Daniel who's been making these little keychains and selling mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. uh, even though he's just seven years old, mm -hmm. he said, I, everything I, give from, for, mm -hmm. uh, I receive from selling these mm -hmm. uh, keychains, mm -hmm. I will give to help mm -hmm. in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. uh, we think about a church in Singapore, which is raising funds and praying. Mm -hmm. So all around the world, the whole of the Baptist family is with you. Thank you very much, Elijah, and God bless you on your way to Ukraine. And uh, we hope to see you soon in Poland. <laughs> and may the Lord also bless you with your uh, discussions, encouragement uh, uh, to our sisters and brothers in, uh, in Ukraine. Amen and amen. God bless you. Bye.